Hey everybody, what's up? Today we are in Farming Simulator modding tutorial mode. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a custom color palette using colors from a vehicle website. Like for ex this example, I'm going to show you how to do it using the Ford F-150. So you might want to do this if you have a truck mod and you actually want to duplicate some real colors that the truck comes in. Or if you have the color or something, you don't you want to make it show up as that color in game. It's pretty easy. You don't need really any special skills or programs for it. Um, it's just kind of tedious if you're doing a bunch of colors. Like I did a RAM that had thirty colors and it took maybe fifteen minutes, start to finish. So it's not too bad. But anyways, you're gonna need a couple things for this. Um, I recommend this color picker eyedropper extension for Chrome. It makes it easy. So I'll leave a link to download this. You just add it to Chrome, then you click up here. And then this will give you your menu. You're going to need this. I'll leave a link to this. You just go on here, make a copy, and you can edit this spreadsheet as much as you want. And then uh, you're going to need to find a vehicle that you want to copy the colors. So in this case, I got the Ford F-150. But you can do it for anything. You can do it for tractors, trucks, cars, whatever you want. So anyways, um, the first step, find your vehicle, whatever. And then once you located your colors, like this one wasn't too bad. Usually if you go on any website for a car, you just kind of scroll more down towards the bottom. You'll be able to find. They uh, usually have a list of the colors. But anyways, let's get started. So... First up, you want to click the little color selection uh, button up there that adds to your toolbar. Um, in this case, the four websites kind of weird, so it gives you the color name as you select it. Uh, let's start with this one since it's bright blue. I love this color. So um, you got the name here. We're going to copy the name. So the name will show up in the game. So you copy your name. Come over to my spreadsheet here. And then you're going to want to put the name in right here, where it says color name goes here. Just copy, then paste. And then the color code, it will be from here. So we got to calculate that using these little cells here. So velocity blue, let's uh, come over here to our color picker. Then you want to hover over the color. So we're at 0, 150, 215. So we come over here, 0, 150, 215. And that's that. So then you take this here. You're going to want to copy that. And paste it over here. Oh, you got to do right click and paste special and paste values only. So then you just go down the line. Next up, we'll do um, this one here, race red. Copy that. Come over here. Race red. Color, we got to figure that out. So we come over here, pick the color picker. RGB is 2... 2, 13, 15, 0. Hit enter. Then you're going to want to take this here. Copy that. Come over underneath Giants color code. Right click, paste special, paste values only. And that's it. So I give you this amount of lines here. If you want more, if you have a bunch of colors, you can just highlight these five columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. And just click and drag down. And it'll give you more. But let's just uh, go with these here. So you want to select all the ones that you've filled in. So in this case, we only did the first two. This is it, by the way. This is how you get the colors. That's it. Then you just have to put it in your XML and you're done. That will explain that part too. But So you just select from F to J. Only the lines that you filled in, copy those. Then you open up your vehicle XML, and you're going to want to come down, and you should see something like this. 
where the colors are. So this only only works for the base materials configuration. If you did want one um, for design, you could change it in here. Make one that says, actually I'll just make one right now. So if you're doing design material configuration, you just fill it in the same way instead of the base material. The base material is the main color of the body. The design will be like something else. Like in this case, it's the grill and the bumper. So different for every mod, but the same story if it was the design. But anyways, for the base model, let's go ahead and copy this. Then you want to come over here. All this design material, or all this uh, base material, these are all the colors that are in there already. Delete that. Then just paste your new colors in. Now, by default, this says true. That means that when you go into Farming Simulator, it will have a list of all the Farming Simulator colors. Like gender green, gender yellow, case red. So if you want all those still to show up, leave it as true. If you only want the colors that you put in to show up, change this to false. And then only the colors you put in will show up. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Then your custom colors will show up with your custom name in Farm Sim, in the color picker in the shop. And that's it. It's pretty easy, just tedious. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts down below, and I will catch you again in the next video.